Hi folks, Practical Not Tactical Dad here. I'm going to show you another video here involving the multi-purpose hook on a Swiss Army knife. This uh, hack I'm going to show you will allow you to carry a small piece of thread around an arm's length piece of thread and a needle, an eyed needle, to uh, sew on a button, fix a hem, whatever. You got a tear in your shirt. Hell, you might have to cord something together. Maybe you want to fletch, fletch an arrow with some, you know, fletchings on the end. Got yourself some thread. All right, I'm going to show you how to do this, and uh, it's very inexpensive. You probably have the stuff laying around the house. I uh, just need a little know-how. I'm going to guide you that way. All right, um, first of all, you're going to need a pair of scissors. Sharper the better. Um, as you can see, I raided my wife's sewing kit at home, so uh, she's not home right now, so she didn't have any say in it. But, uh... Got the scissors, some needles, uh, twist ties. Yeah, that's a pretty nifty thing. That's one of my other videos where you store a twist tie under here. We're going to incorporate that into this uh, Swiss Army knife and arm's length piece of thread, which is this kind of thread here. I don't know if y'all can see. Spun polyester, uh, extra strength. It's uh, the heaviest cord or the heaviest. Uh, thread I could find downstairs but uh, alright without further ado I'm going to show you how to get this done you're going to take your twist ties you see here in this side here I've already cut this off but what I've done I've removed one single twist tie off this strip keep it as straight as possible straighter the better that way you can get these edges cut off when I did I just trimmed off some of the plastic edges to, to thin it down a bit on either side and uh, now I'm stuck with a straight piece of uh, this tie. So now what you're going to do is we're going to turn it into a bundle like this with our thread and our needle. So what you do is take your twist tie, kind of eyeball your thread, or I'm sorry, eyeball your hook, just to see where you want to start that first bend. That's about where you want to start your first bend, right there. Straight people, you want to keep it as straight as possible. And what you want to do is just want to crease that end. Fold it over again. Boom. Okay, at that point you're going to stop. And you're going to take your needle and you're just going to poke it, the tip of it, into that plastic just in in the right spot where it will hold the next fold will hold it down and your needle point will be not protruding and poking you every time you touch it that will help prevent you from stabbing yourself on occasions when you might not need to use this sewing kit but you need to use your hook for some reason which I've yet to use my hook other than to store stuff under so if any of you guys have used your hook, I mean, other than carrying things, obviously, um, I'd like to hear about it in the comments. Uh, but yeah, you see I have my bundle here. What I'm going to do is take my thread. I'm going to start my windings. Once I get her caught there, wind her the whole way down the length of that as tight as possible. It doesn't have to be neat. You just kind of want to get it evenly stretched across there. The tighter the better. That's what she said, huh? That's what he said. <laughs> if you hear the tension I'm putting on this as I'm winding it down, I mean, it's, it's tight. And you get the gist. You just keep on winding that baby around and around and around. Tell your I mean, you could probably put more than an arm's length of thread on here. You'd have to experiment a couple times just to get your, uh, depending on how thick your thread is. But for time's sake, let's trim this thread. Wind her around there. Give her a lick. And there you go. There's your package. Let's see if we'll slip her under here. 
Look at that. Perfect. Perfectly slipped under there. Close your hook. Look at that. It's perfectly closed. You could probably fit more thread in there. I guarantee you could. But uh, yeah, nice little hack. I invented this hack the other day. I was at work and uh, of course one of my pants buttons broke. I carry a pistol 95% of the time and when your pants break, your button, and you wear a pistol, you better have a good carry belt because it's not going to hang the way it usually hangs. Pun intended. Um, but uh, yeah, I decided I was going to fix that next time I got home. I stole some needles. Now, your needle, I didn't mention this earlier, you're going to want a smaller one. One that will fit under your hook. This is the size I used. I'm not a sewing expert. I don't know sizes of needles. But uh, I'll hold it up to the hook and I'll show you. Matter of fact, let's use my dandy measuring device. I would say it's an inch and an eighth. Maybe they probably classify it as an inch if you measure at the eye. But yeah, that's about an inch and an eighth. Measure it from the hook back, about an inch and an eighth. So uh, yeah, an inch and an eighth needle stuck in my finger but uh that's what you would use inch and an eighth twist tie some spun polyester extra strength yarn or yarn of your choosing or cordage you want to do this with cordage or some i have yet to try i'd like to try some suture material i don't know how that would work out you'd have to bend your needle or just impro improvise but uh you don't, you don't have a subscription to my channel, please like and subscribe, comment, uh, leave me some options on what you guys do with your multi-purpose hooks, and uh, I'd like to hear from you. Practical Not Tactical Dad here, signing off.